Welcome to sunny Sweden. It's April, it's still a bit chilly, but uh, boat is launched, so that's a very good start for the season. I've got my new life raft here. Um, it has been serviced as every year. As you can see over there, as I'm a commercial vessel, I need to have not only a Solas A life raft, uh, which this is, um, but I also need to have it uh, serviced every year. So it comes back, they have kind enough in the yard to put it back on the boat and uh, they've installed it all but it's very very important to check if it is installed the correct way so the rope is still attached to here with a cable tie and this is not the way it should be the cm hammer device is placed correctly so that's fine we just have to check it in a second uh, that's a hydrostatic release unit meaning that when you when the boat is sinking and uh, the boat is about 40 centimeters under the surface the uh, hydrostatic release unit cuts the rope and then it is as if you would release it manually like this. Now the life raft in its container is lighter than water so it floats up to the surface and then you have a container up there. So that is not so good because you want to have a life raft. So for that reason if you do it manually you might know that you are throwing this overboard and you're holding this rope in your hand and pulling and pulling and pulling until it is um, at the very end and then you give it a big shock and then it blows up. So on the automatic version with the hydrostatic release unit this needs to be tied on the boat. So when the life raft is on the surface and the boat is about 10 meters underneath then this is stretched so it blows open. But for that reason it needs to be attached. The question is where? So we will look at that in a second. So if you don't have this hydrostatic release unit, you actually have to lift up this life raft. It's rather heavy. You need to be two people and throw it overboard. But with the hydrostatic release unit and you forget or you don't have the time to uh, throw it overboard, for instance, in an emergency or like fire or uh, more likely collision, then this does it automatically for you. So I will now check the expire date of this one and I can see it is May and then I turn it over uh, 2019. So it's actually time to exchange it now. So therefore I have two new boxes from CM Hammer. They sent them to me. One says age 20. That's what they're called this hydrostatic release unit for an Epbeer. So we leave this for later. And this is the one for the uh, life raft and that's the one I want to install the correct way now with this rope attached how it should be. So I'll open this package now and look what's inside and you see the first difference it's green and that's yellow so what's the difference? Well the yellow one is for professional ships I'm commercial so I used to have this uh, for the professional vessels but this makes more sense actually because it doesn't have so much uh, floating power like these big barrels for 16 people or something. So I chose this year um, a green one for which is for light marine and you can see there's some instruction there to show how to install it and that's exactly what I want to show you. So actually it is nothing else but just to replace the one that I have more or less. So what I do is I take screw off this one. There we go. We can actually Take away the instructions and uh, it says deck there so in case you have forgotten which side goes where it says deck there which also makes sense that when it's sitting there that you can read the the months so I put them there again there we go and then I install my rope, my swan neck, which I use when I have to release it manually. Now, now comes the important thing. Here it says panther line. So that means this rope here. So this rope needs to be attached to that red ring there, which actually is a weak link. So that means that now, when the life raft is floating up over the sinking ship, this rope is being pulled out 
for every meter um, from the life raft. And then when it's all pulled out, about 10 meters, it means that it pulls automatically and the life raft opens up and blows up. Now, when the ship continues to sink, which is not what is the ideal solution, of course, but it continues to sink, then it would pull the life raft down with it, wouldn't it? So when you're overboard, you swim there in your um, uh, life vests and uh, you see the life raft coming up. Hooray, it's coming. Blows up. Hooray, it works. And then you think, oh, shit, it just sinks under your vision. So that's why this is a weak link. So as soon as this has blown up, it has enough buoyancy to cut a second time and then it's uh, free floating on the surface. The last thing we need to do is actually to put up the expire date for next year. So uh, cutting off here in May, there we go, and then the year uh, 2022 because I have to do it every second year. No, it's 21 actually, it's 19, 20, 21. And last but not least, if you want, you can scan that little barcode up there on your smartphone and then automatically register this uh, H20 Hammer release unit with the company. So that's really good. So thank you for listening.